Hi, I'm Rich Formidoni from Korg USA. We're here at GearWire.com, and I'm going to show you the micro sampler. The micro sampler is a unique new instrument from Korg. It takes some of our most powerful sampling tools and puts them in a very compact and very affordable package. So it's very lightweight, it's got a compact size here, and it takes six AA batteries in addition to the included AC adapter. So whenever you're ready to make music, just grab the micro sampler and go. Right now I'm playing one-shot samples. A one-shot sample plays all the way through whenever you press a key. There are also loop samples. And they'll keep playing indefinitely as long as you hold down the key or when you hold down the loop button as you press one of the keys. The next kind of sample is gate. Now, uh, gate samples are especially useful in keyboard mode because there I can take one specific sample, press the keyboard button, and it spreads it all across the keys. So you can play it with keys. Uh, drum pad samplers are great because you can organize beats quickly, but you can also do that with keys, and you have the flexibility here to play lots of other different kinds of instruments. Now, the micro sampler also has two unique sampling modes that, uh, that really set it apart. The first one is auto next, and the second one is key gate. So I'm briefly going to switch to a different bank here and show you how uh, auto next and key gate mode work. All right, so to show you how auto next works, I'm going to use resampling. Resampling is uh, sampling the sound that's coming out of the micro sampler. So I'm going to start this loop going and press the loop hold button to keep it going after I take my finger off the key. turn down the volume a little bit. Now, I'm going to press the sampling button and I've got a range of keys selected here. You can tell they're selected because the LEDs are lit. Now, after I press the sampling button again, the micro sampler will split that beat up onto the individual keys. So now it's done. So you've basically just taken a drum loop and turned it into a drum kit. So now with a new loop, I'm going to show you how key gate mode works. I'll start the loop going the same way. Now I'll arm the sampler. And when I press a key down, it will start recording a sample on that key. When I let go of the key, it will stop. So I just recorded three quick snippets. So that's a great way in live performance to grab a snippet of sound that's coming into the micro sampler. You might also notice that there is a metal gooseneck microphone with an XLR connection, and this is included with the micro sampler and easily lets you sample incoming audio. So now I've selected a new key for sampling, and what I'm going to do is arm the micro sampler, and based on a certain volume threshold, when I clap my hands, it will record, it will start recording the instant I clap. So now I can press the uh, keyboard button and select that specific sample that I was working with and play it all across the keys. And that's great because I can then resample it and play it onto a new key. So as we're playing with some of the built-in loops, you can see that there is a sample status area right here. And this is where you can uh, zoom in on one specific sample and tell it whether you want it to be a loop sample, whether you want it to go forward or in reverse, and if you want to apply the effects processor to it. So there are 21 different chaos-derived effects in here, including a decimator, which give you a, it gives you a great lo-fi kind of grunge effect. And if we go to the other effects types, we can see that there is a looper effect, talking modulator, pitch shifter, grain shifter, all kinds of cool stuff. The last feature I want to show you is the built-in pattern sequencer. You can store 16 different patterns in the micro sampler, and they can be up to 99 measures long.
Now, as I turned on that particular pattern, there was already a keyboard sound assigned to it. So if I choose a different pattern, I might have a different keyboard sound to play with. And you can specify that right from within the microsampler. You can quantize, change the length of the patterns, delete and swap them between banks. So it's a very flexible way to create music. Also on the back of the microsampler, there is a USB port. And that gives you access to our editor software, which is really a full-featured wave editor. So you can trim, normalize, and edit the waveforms, and really create a complete bank of sounds and upload them to the microsampler whenever you're ready for a gig. So that's the microsampler. Thanks very much for checking it out.